Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the so far we're going to jump in again and do a good old deleted run. It has been a little while since we've done some deleted so I thought why not give it to you guys and we, to be fair we could do a, a sort of streak of deleted if we wanted to as well. Um, I'm going to go as regular deleted this time uh, which is this one yeah happy 99. Cool we're going to go as regular deleted. Uh, ooh, deleted is causing errors already. Strange. Anyways, yeah, we'll jump in and do some deleted because this guy's just hella fun. And we might do a bit of a deleted streak um, and play a few of the different deleted versions if people want to see that. By the way, I just wanted to get some feedback as well on how people... Oh, very, very good book, but I've got a bit flip it just to see. Um, That's actually not very good. I think I'm just going to take that with the tears down, to be honest. This book's just so much better. Um, Tears Down obviously isn't great. Uh, I just wanted to ask sort of how people are currently enjoying the the way that I'm uploading Isaac. I mean, I, views wise, things are pretty like pretty much the same. It seems that everyone's like watching most of the videos anyways, which is good to see. Um, and uh, I, I'm I'm really enjoying the split between sort of we have. The new save file that we don't have to take very seriously and we're just going for completion marks where and when we can. Um, we have the modded character showcase one where we can actually play some new characters or put a spotlight on characters that we played before, like currently we're playing Golem. Um, also want to play some other characters on that soon. I think Martha is one of the ones that I want to give a go soon. Um, I, I, I played them like once on a showcase and haven't played them in a while, so Martha might be quite fun. And I believe they have a tainted variant now, so... I'll probably check those out pretty soon um, for the... Oh my god, that was a super, super bad hit. Um, for the th th that series. And then, then, yeah, obviously the streak is just so fun for me. For um, It's like an outlet for taking Isaac a bit more seriously, which I don't tend to obviously usually do. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a unique style to play. But at the same time, I like having these other series alongside because I know that there's some people out there that aren't that big of fans of streaks. Um, so it's good so that they still have series to watch. But I think the see I think the streak, at least for if, if anyone that's maybe watching this series and not watching the streak for any reason, like I think give it a go anyways, because I really it really isn't much different than this this series. The only difference really is that I try to min-max and take my time a little bit more. Um But otherwise the, the runs are very much the same. I'm not there's very few items that I'm skipping, and items that I am skipping are items that I'd normally skip anyways. Like, it's not like I'm skipping them specifically for the streak. It's like, I wouldn't be taking them on any of the series I'm getting, like things like rickets and stuff. Okay. Health not good so far. Really not a great boss to get. Can, can you fucking stop, my guy? Chill out for a minute. God damn. Guy going buck wild. Didn't mean to do that. Um, that seems interesting. Let's take it. Protect me from lard. That's it. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Right. So, basically every room we have an 86% chance to get lard, which seems awful, but also great. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I get lard, but it doesn't give me any extra HP. <laughs> it just gives me a speed down. So this is nowhere near as good as I thought it was going to be. This is quite the meme now. I really thought this was going to be, hey, you t you get lard every, uh, like, every room. And it gives you some HP every room. Okay. But no. No, it's not. It's, you get lard every room, and you just get a speed down every room. So yeah, that's... <laughs> That's a death that I'm not particularly upset about. <laughs> oh my god, that was awful. That was awful. This is why we're not on the streak, baby. We can play deleted to our heart's content. Lovely stuff. It's lovely stuff. The The only thing I don't like about the streak is... I actually think the, th the, the thumbnail style for this series is a lot better than the thumbnail style for the streak with the items above the uh, the logo. I think it's much more readable and looks better, but I needed something to dif 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 differentiate That's it. Differentiate the streak series. I needed something to make it clear there's the, the two different series. So I don't really know what else to do, so I just kind of reverted back to how I used to make my thumbnails, which I moved away from because I don't particularly like. Uh, ooh, double wafer. 
I mean, I'll take one of the wafers and check what the other one turns into, I guess. Because having two of them means nothing. So one wafer for me. And then bit flip the other one. Um, on 25 kills, use clicker. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? On 25 kills, use clicker. That sounds not good. Oh, that hit me as well. Lovely. We might die again here. This seems like... Uh, Seems like I'm playing real well at the minute, doesn't it? We'll try our best to keep going, but uh, I'll be honest. This guy starting with this low HP is not a good start for me. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm obviously not doing very well. Can you guys not? Okay, that was... That guy actually didn't. <laughs> I said, can you not? And he decided not to, so thank you. I love that. Anyways, I feel a little bit out of sorts with uh, with Isaac right now anyways. I'd like to kill him first so I don't have webbing everywhere. Um, I, I don't know. I've just not been playing a ton of Isaac recently, so it's a bit strange. Ooh, we get Cuba meat to reroll here. Can you get away from me for a second, mate? Yeah, so it feels a bit odd to be, to be back on top of the deleted and trying out another run. Can you stop with your pooters? My god, this guy's annoying. Oh my god. I've been uh, I've been doing a bit of meal prepping lately. Um so I I basically because I've been on a diet, I've been obviously trying food that's trying to find food that's easy to cook and, and lowish calories. And I made this like pesto cream cheese chicken and bacon pasta. And oh my god, it's like it, like one big batch makes like six portions and it's like 250 calories a portion. And it's so good and it's quite filling as well. Um I'm really happy with it. <laughs> really happy with it. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what what do you think that meal would be for you? Um, spawn six coins. Um, on bomb. Oh god, that sounds risky, but I like it. Um, yeah. What what would be the one meal you could definitely eat for the rest of your life? For me, I'd probably say something like lasagna. I I, I can't imagine getting bored of lasagna. Also, it depends as well. Like. If it, is it one meal for the rest of your life? And I'm the one making this up, but is it one meal for the rest of your life in exactly that way? Or if you say pizza, can you get a bunch of different types of pizza? Because there's like, there's like a bunch of different meals that like you could get quite a few different types of said meal. I'm gonna have to say it because it's just for survivability. I'm hoping I don't lose this like haunted heart that I've got, the baleful heart, because it is doing some good work right now. He's too fast, man. He's too fast. Okay, that's good. We've reduced him to a half head. I really like this rework of this boss. It's one of my favorite reworks. It makes so much sense, and it's so much more enjoyable to fight rather than the sort of lackluster fight that it needs to start with. This guy could genuinely give, imbue some harm upon me. You little bastard. I don't know how he managed to get that hit in there, but I'm annoyed by it. Good, good. Right. Keep it going. Yep, so there's the troll bombs. I don't know if there's any way that I can actually detonate those without taking damage, so I'm probably going to step back. Bit scary whenever we uh, pick up a bomb. There's a chance that it just spreads troll bombs literally everywhere. Not quite sure if I'm a fan of that, but we got a deal. We got a deal. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I need to get back through this room, but there's webbing everywhere. Oh my lord. <laughs> there's webs everywhere in that room, so if I don't get through it quick enough, I'm getting ooh mega bomb. The good thing is, though, the good thing is we do have wafer, so we're never going to take full heart damage from a troll bomb, which is really, really nice. I will bomb that as well. What we got going on in here? Just a bit of money. Just a little bit of money. Yeah, look at the ghosts. They're just doing great work. It's amazing to have them on board. Check what that card is. These cards are generally, generally pretty good. Um, I think they're a bit overpowered for the most part, but hey her. Oh, I killed both of them. Hey! Chance to get money on killing enemies. I forgot about that. Seems pretty rare, but it has a chance to happen, so I'm happy with it. I just love the fact that it does, like, three ticks of damage with the ghost, and it's like an explosion that can hit multiple enemies, too. Can you not, sir? Can you not? 
Then in here, we got Sulfuric Acid or Effigy. Both of these are pretty good. I still got a bit flip to see. Um, I've really never into a particle rock. Ooh, that seems risky as all shit. Every room, 3% chance to get a broken heart. But on Soul Heart, we gain a ton of damage, which seems real good. Oh god, I kind of forgot that this was this room. Is there any way I can keep myself safe here? I'm trying to get as many of them blown up as I can. To actually, yeah, get the stuff that's in here. It kind of went pretty well, to be honest. Somehow came out not too bad. Right, we'll use this card here to mash up whatever boss is here. Good goes to Soul Heart. Uh, excuse me. Was it like a chance to gain that? Because I didn't get anything there. I'll take that. Why not? Right, let's keep it going. So maybe it's a chance on Soul Heart to gain those strength badges. I thought it was a guarantee. My bad. Oh, you are a big boy. You are a big, big boy. You need to die, good sir. Holy hell. So on active use, we have a chance to lose a penny as well. How did you not die to that ghosty then? There you go. Item room straight away is pretty lovely. And... On key, it was a chance... It sounds horrible, but I'm, I'm just going to take everything, because... Whatever. <laughs> this is the deleted, like, come on. You've got to just roll with the punches, really. Give what- Oh, what the fuck, man? There's our troll bombs. We did get glass eye, but it's only a temporary glass eye, unfortunately. We only get it for the room. It's not what I was hoping it would be. So I thought temporary would be one floor, but it's one room. Not great. So we got a chance to spawn a random monster on, uh, on picking up a key, as you can see here. Which is a little bit horrible. Good job we don't have anything on picking up pennies yet. But we, we have a chance of something happening on picking up keys. A chance of something happening when we pick up bombs. I did not do a lot of damage to that bomb. I was really hoping for a lot more than that. Right, one hit and we lose our ghosty buddies. So, playing it cautiously here. Yeah. I was. <laughs> I promise I was. Oh, this is... This is a horrible room here. I mean, luckily we gain damage the more we get hit. We've, bas we've basically just got a budget fucking bl um, bloody lust. Pretty funny, actually. Oh my lord. Could I, could I take any more damage? What's going on here? This is insane. This is a really, really, really hard boss fight. I'm probably going to die again. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? It's a really hard boss room. Did not have the stats for that at all. Okay, we're on one of these episodes, by the looks of it, people. We're on one of these episodes where I just can't do anything right. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Weird start so far. Weird start indeed. Glad to have gotten rid of him. Good, good. Freezing all the boys. Like that, look. Oh. Like, yeah, the, the cards from this, this this thing are just too strong, I think. It, it's not even that they're too strong, because there's a lot of strong cards in Isaac, vanilla and modded. But they're very common. Like, they show up a lot. <laughs> and there's, like, teleports to error rooms. Instantly freeze the entire room. There's also also good shenanigans going down with those cards that are pretty, pretty strong. Why does it always have to be a golden chest, man? Can't just give me a break for once. But yeah, the, the, one of the problems I am having at the moment with the with the split of three series is it makes my upload schedule a bit weirder. Because before I, I literally just just kept recording Isaac and uploading it. That was just that was just it. But now I have to record 
the sets of different episodes, try and record them in order so that I remember where they are when I go to upload. And then also remember to upload them in order. Like, you might have noticed that I... Can you fucking stop getting out of the way of my goddamn bombs, you absolute shyster? Easiest kill on the planet with a bomb and it just won't let me. You might have noticed that, like, the, the character showcase series is a bit, like, here and there. Uh, toy drum is good, but we'll check. Um, not very good. Um, yeah, you might have noticed that the, 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 the modded character series is a bit here and there. It was supposed to be every third day, but it's just, it's difficult to keep on top of. And also, like, I do enjoy playing the, um... Playing like this series and especially the mo the the streak series more, so I'm recording those more often, uh, which means I just have more backlog of them. Dude, am I gonna die again? What's with all these really rough rooms here? And not just that. What's with me playing terribly? <laughs> I think that's also a big part of it. Is that I, I I don't remember how to play this game very well. Just, just get over here so I can kill you, please. Stop being a nonce. Um, I'd rather not lose my toy drum, but if you must, I'm okay. That's not too bad. That, that I thought the force from that was going to be a lot larger than it actually was. Oh my god! Why can't I do anything in this game, right? Whoa! I'm dead again. <laughs> it's one of these episodes, baby! I don't know why, but I, I feel like once a month I have one of these episodes where I just cannot play the game and I die constantly. It's very strange. Some sort of odd phenomenon. Do any of you get that with like any game? It could be Isaac, but any other games you regularly play, any other roguelikes or just any games in general where you'll just hop on one day and for some reason you just play like absolute shite. The problem is I'm supposed to record like three episodes today and I don't know if I can now. <laughs> like genuinely, I do not want to record a streak run if this is how I'm playing. I mean, it's also like partially due to the character and due to the look that I'm getting, but still. I feel like my actual my actual mechanical skill at the game is also not great. Um, doesn't seem very good. Oh no! I didn't know the door would be shut. I thought I could just leave to fight one of these guys every time I bit flip. That doesn't sound fun at all, especially if they've got so much health. God damn it. I guess I'm just going to bit flip and stay bit flipped. So otherwise I'm going to be annoyed. Why'd you have to spawn right there, my guy? They've got so much HP, what the hell? Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay bit flipped, to be honest. It's, it's slightly more visually horrible, but... Ow. See what I mean? I just... What what kind of hit was that? Why did I get hit there? That was just silly. We got this little pot thing. I don't know what this pot does. This little cup of coffee item that we just gained. We got a triple Polaris going, but it doesn't do anything at level 1 anyways. So. The triple Polaris is pretty useless. Every 90 seconds is a 5% chance to get in the Polaris. We've got another one of these coffee cups. It's like a it's like a panhandler beggar cup. It's it's like a little mug with a with a coin on it. Not exactly sure what to think of that. Take this big boy out. Yeah, we're getting loads of them, look. They're stacking up, but they're not doing anything that I can notice. Maybe it does something when you pick up money or something. Each room used Guppy's head. I like that. That's just a pocketed Guppy's head, essentially. I like that quite a bit. Right. Let's keep it. Keep this going. It's good that we got Guppy's head rolling because it means we've got some actual damage here now. This might be the run that goes the distance, people. This might be the run that goes the distance. 
I, I can never tell, by the way, if people enjoy these episodes more or less. Because, like, on one half, it, it, it always makes for a longer episode. Because I'm I, if I if I end up having if I have like two or two or three deaths and then I have a long run like a normal long run it means it's a longer episode which people might like but at the same time I don't know if people get frustrated watching me die to stupid stuff. I also think that the another problem that I need to work on myself is that whenever I have these bad runs I tend to complain more which I realize can be a bit annoying to listen to, and I I've always sort of. I've always sort of preached that I don't want to be the, the, the com like, there's a lot of Isaac YouTubers out there that basically just complain. I've realized that that's kind of, it's kind of strange. That kind of, that, that, that kind of was like an era of Isaac, and there is still people out there like that. I mean, Sin Vixer, I believe, is still one of those people, at least from what I've heard. Oh, this room is, this room is not as wide as it, as it looks. <laughs> that's annoying. Um... Uh, but, um, there's, there's a lot of people out there, like, Lazy Matman and all that sort of stuff that, um that aren't really the sort of type to complain a ton. We don't know what we're getting here. We're just going for it. But well, we got a lot of keys. So we know that. But otherwise, we have no idea what that did to us. Unfortunately, we no longer have our good old wafer. Which I was quite enjoying. Bombs there. Gap them with chests. I would like some more HP as well, please, game. That would be most lovely. Just some more flies. Oh, good. A boss that can easily kill me once again here. I'm going to have to use my bomb here because I need to kill this guy quick. Dude, does Dingle have, like, some sort of bomb immunity or something? Because bombs do fuck all to Dingle. Like, Monster and Duke of Flies and all that lot, it seems to absolutely annihilate. But Dingle doesn't really have that much extra health, from what I remember. But from what I'm seeing, it seems like he does, because the bombs just do, like, nothing to him. Oh, hello. We are getting random rock trinkets every so often, which is kind of interesting. And some of them, when they're grinded, do have a special effect, which is kind of nice. Trying to use that poop there as kind of like a blockade. Okay, good, good. Again, we don't know what we're getting from any of these. I will check the devil deal, actually, just to see if there's some hearts in there. Don't know if they're going to give me HP, so I can't take them. Right, away we go. It's all become a bit crazy. Right, one second, one second. Let's keep it moving. We've got uh, something going on here. Oh, we've got uh, two bomb flies every room now, which is nice. I don't know if we get that every floor, but I like it. We no longer have a trinket at all, which is annoying, because now our thingy trinket can't activate. A little golem thing can't activate. I'm still on only one heart here, so let's still be wary. You take a lot of hits, my guy, and you move in ways that confuse me. This isn't a good room. Ah, I don't like you coming towards me, my guy. Don't, don't breach the gap. You are, you are solemnly over there, on your own. Oh, precious soul heart, I need you. I will not let another run die. It is not my time to go. We'll keep this fire alive, if we can. Why am I only getting one bomb fly now? I've got two of the locust-like things smelted. Maybe they're just on top of each other, but I doubt it. I think the game's just cooking me a little bit. I did manage to open this up with uh, one of these little bomb boys, which is nice. And we get a new trinket. Yay! Now it can turn it into a stone trinket and keep the cycle ever going. Yeah, so far I'm not seeing anything crazy wacky that we've managed to grab from those um, unknown items. But I am seeing that my bomb fly managed to hurt me. A man. Great stuff. Wasn't expecting that, I gotta say. Ooh, lots of homing shots in here. That's always good. Ooh, there you go. Damage buff proportional to our speed down, I think that is. I will cracketh these open. 
don't know what card that is and actually get a chance to read it. It's Lust. Lust is actually kind of good for machines, but otherwise not super useful. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The, the fucking webbing. No. Holy shit. The webbing. Yeah, we've got a chance to freeze enemies now, which is kind of nice. Thank god those uh, dudes, like, nuked all the webbing, because god damn it. Hurts. Chunk of gallium. It wasn't calcium at first. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now, now we got two flies. Oh, what a hit. I don't know what HP I'm currently on, but I can't imagine it's good. I can't imagine it's good at all. I think we're on half a heart, <laughs> which seems to be a, a common... Oh, one second. Sorry, I had a big sneeze. Seems to be a common thing for us at the moment. Oh, this is new. A bunch of uh, a bunch of these little poops is uh, not great. Oh, Lord. Okay, we went on one heart at least. We know that now. You've blocked him in. Okay, we were on much more HP than I thought. Mate, I can't... I need to let you out so I can kill you, because you're currently being a bitch. I don't know what tier that is. It's like a lump of coal slowed down tier or something? I don't, I don't know. Some shenanigans going on. But apparently we were on a lot more HP than I assumed, because we haven't died yet and I don't really know why. Dude! My fucking bomb boy got me. My fucking locust. This is tragic. Absolutely tragic, man. <laughs> Give me crack the sky. You know you want to. Damn you. Absolutely tragic. The, do you know what the biggest problem with these episodes is? It's not even the constant death. I don't mind that. It's what the fuck do I put in the thumbnail? Because like... As much as people will be like, oh, I don't care what's in the thumbnail, I'll click anyways. That's just absolute horse poo-poo. Because ones with ones with bad thumbnails do way, way, way worse. <laughs> like, I uploaded one recently, like a Spear of Destiny video, that was actually really good. Like, I really enjoyed, like, the weird synergy that we got. But because Spear of Destiny just isn't an interesting item, like, no one cared. <laughs> I'd rather have the Gorgon. Fortunately, even even if that does mean uh, taking on the horrible effects of every fourth hit we spawn a bunch of mega troll bombs or whatever it was, I don't don't like this. See, this is where, like in the streak, I would just have my bombs ready to go because th these rooms, not not my forte at all. But yeah, I, I have a feeling we're probably gonna die again. But we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm trying my best. I've got my golem buddy to hand to see if he can help us out, but I'm not all that enthusiastic, I'll be honest. <gasps> oh, I don't have any extra red hearts to heal. Just start with two red hearts rather than one red and one soul, because it's not working for me. I don't have any bombs for this guy either. Oh god, this might be a bit of a tragic one, boys. This might be a bit of a tragic one. The deleted is uh has not progressed to great heights for me today. Due to my inability to play the game. Oh my lord. Something's going on with my brain, people. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's terribly wrong. I I think I might have to save the rest of my recordings until tomorrow, you know. I don't I genuinely don't think I can do more today. I might do a character showcase because I don't mind if I die on those, but streaking ain't no way, people. Ain't no way. I'm going to finish this. Have my little pasta. I don't know. I'm trying to think who I should record next on the uh, on the character save file, uh, modded character save file. I kind of want to do someone a bit a bit wacky, a bit different. Maybe I'll do like Mr. Boom or whatever he's called. Like, he's a fun character. Um, safety pin. I didn't even check what the glitched version was. My bad. My bad. We did get a black heart out of it, which I think is pretty necessary for uh, my current efforts. 
Yeah, Gorgon's insanely good as well. Gorgon was a, a was a good grab. These little head dudes are pretty interesting as well. I kind of wish they had their own room designs though. Like, I feel like they, they don't look right in like basement and stuff. I feel like they should have their own like wall decals and stuff. That's actually pretty good flea circus, I'll take that. Where art thou item room? Don't make me go through the big rooms, I'll cry. I don't have the power. I don't have the willpower, actually. That, that's, that's more to the point. It's not just the actual power. Here's my little flea buddy. Cute, cute, cute. What you got for us? It's a pretty beefy golden chest. Don't mind if I do. We've got enough for the shop now. Let's go check out what's in the shop. And we can glitch them out and see what we get. Glizzy's actually pretty goddamn good. I'd like to take Glizzy, but I've got to, I've got to flip. I've got to flip. Um, that seems interesting. It's a good speed up as well. <laughs> Just take it. Why not? What we got here? Oh, oh, this is the Devil Deal one, isn't it? Turn our items into Devil Deals. I don't care. I love it. Right. As long as Gorgon's still here, we, we, we really only have to ever deal with like two enemies at a time because he just stuns the rest. Thank you. And they stun them for quite a while as well. Like, not a short stun. I do wish we had some extra damage though. Our killing potential at the moment is a pretty lackluster. I wanted that holy light, but it was only a 10 holy light. I can't be taking 10 holy lights. Oh, bollocks. So the poop with flies have spawned. <laughs> I've got to be careful, because I can instantly destroy poop. Wow, that's uh... I don't know what that, 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 that wooden button does, but... Pretend it's amazing. Okay. It's boss time again, baby. And our power is pretty much the same, unless this wooden button does something absolutely amazing to bosses. Now that's what you love to see. First floor boss going down in a single bomb is it's just beautiful. Remove. Yeah. Oh my lord, that's a lot of bombs, baby. That's a lot of bombs. Um... Don't think there's any of those we can actually take, unfortunately. Right, away we go. We try once more to plow forward into the future of this run. We gained this active item, which I actually don't know what it does. Um, a one-use Holy Mantle shield received from the room reduce all damage taken to half a heart. Kind of interesting, so... Oh, lovely. Didn't expect that. So, what I'm, what I'm thinking is, when we use this, when we use this, we gain a Holy Mantle for the room, and any damage we take is halved, which is pretty insane, actually. Gorgon, you've kind of actually fucked up here. Gorgon, I need you to place this guy somewhere I can actually hit him. Thank you. We are back down to one red heart again, though. So... Hello darkness, my old friend, is the, uh, is the way that this is going right now. Ooh, quite a bit of money there, lovely. Oh god, there's double spiders in there. Oh no. The spoders, man. The spoders. Enemies that spawn spiders can heck off. Not, not good enough for them. <laughs> this kind of sounds like, it's not like I'm talking about my skill, it's like I'm talking like, I'm not a good enough person for these spiders. Okay, I was going to check to see if the Holy Mantle lasted until the next room. I did not get a chance to do that. I just wish we had more damage, man. Damage is pitiful. 
the damage is pitiful. I need you to keep these guys stunned so they don't shoot me. Good, good. I can see you're about to shoot, my guy. Oh, what a goddamn hit. This guy's a genius. This guy's a genius. I think it's all over, people. We've tried our best. We really have. We have so many bombs. Oh, lord. What, what kind of room is this? How dare you? <laughs> Everything red? It's just all the reds? Ooh, that guy got charmed for a brief moment there. Just take me to the boss and let me, uh... There you go. See what I can do. And let me be hurtful for damage, please. Before you jump, let me kill you real quick. There you go. Definitely use that, although only taking half a heart of damage doesn't do much for us here, because I only have half a heart, so... Ooh, you're going to spawn a bunch of friends, aren't you? That was very nice. That makes me feel a lot better. And then here... Every 10 rooms, 70% chance. I'm just going to take these, because it's just... Why not at this point? Why the hell not? A Holy Mantle does last between rooms, which is very good to know. That saves us a little bit here. Until I get hit like that, and then I'm not saved. That was very close. These enemies are, uh, not my friend. I don't know what's happening with enemies sometimes exploding into tears. That's a new one. I'm not quite sure where that's coming from. Let's go over back over here and try and get to the lovely little item room. Oh god, I forgot about all of this shenanigans. Every time we get hit, we just create so much hazards for ourselves. We've also got two of these Eternal card trinkets. Isn't that like chance to get an Eternal Heart or a um, Holy Mantle charge when we use a card, I think? Something along those lines. That might be the worst death I've ever committed to sin here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Not only did that button revive us, it gave us stats too. I immediately just, just ate shit though. But... God damn. Can I just get through? Removed. Okay. That wooden button thing? Didn't know. Didn't know it would be so good. But baby. It's beautiful. The most beautiful thing we've ever seen. We are alive. We are here to play. And we can venture forth into this run, which is <laughs> something I didn't think I'd be goddamn saying. I thought that was very much going to be the end of everything. Oh, hello. There's a new one. Wait. Oh, shit. Would we like infinite bombs? I mean, golden bombs isn't really what I meant, but there you go. Korf, can you can you get out of the way so you're not bothering me during my process of garnering more bombs? Also, the troll bombs, man, the troll bombs. Stop. Right, what bombs are we on now? We only need 99. No more, no less. Okay, we're like two two uses off. There we go. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, we've actually got some damage and fire right now, which is splendid. And unexpected. We do have pretty low speed, though. Our speed took a bit of a dive. We do now have the ability to do a lot of bombing. Hey, we have multiple holy mantles. What with the Holy Mantles is pretty good. Now, I'm wondering if we can turn this run around. Um. Wow. Wow, what a, what a great troll bomb placement there. Holy hell. 
Are you going to fire, fire little bombs at me? No? Oh god, it just feels so good to have actual real damage. It's, it's marvellous. So unexpected. That was so stupid. What's, what's with me and walking into bombs at the moment? I seem to be doing it a hell of a lot. I'm liking the stunning. The stunning made that a lot easier. Um. Ooh, whenever we pick up a bomb, we spawn a shockwave now. Which is, uh, proving to be not so useful. And it doesn't spawn the shockwave where the actual bomb was, which is also slightly confusing. You would expect the shockwave to spawn from where the bomb is, but it just spawns a random shockwave. That can damage me. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't know they'd be able to damage me. Oh, why did I touch that? What have I done to myself? This is awful. I had something going for me here. Also, how come my small rocks aren't stacking? Lacrophagy is being unlocked. Okay. I mean, my tier rate's maxed out. That's kind of nice. My speed is at 0 0.1 though, which isn't ideal. I think there's diminishing returns on speed, you know. Because 0 0.1 speed doesn't feel as bad as I would have expected. It feels kind of more like just 0.5. Apparently, we're not even out of our soul hearts yet, which is at least somewhat reassuring. Trying my goddamn best here. Luckily, we don't actually need to pick up any more bombs, so uh, we can avoid them and not shockwave ourselves anymore. I'm just surprised we didn't get any extra damage. Like, wh where the hell is all the extra damage? And also, yeah, Seraphim? I don't know what gave us Seraphim. I really don't. Genuinely, it, like, it might be the prayer cards, maybe? But they're not items, they're trinkets. I don't see why it would be, but it's the only angelic item that I that I can see that I have. I'm just going to assume. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, we don't have any keys, goddammit. I mean, the biggest problem at the minute is just how long it's going to take to, to, like, backtrack navigate. Oh, why did I... I know not to pick those up, you fucking goddamn fool. Yeah, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Oh, I'm not going back to the shop now, it's too far away. We don't have Spectral, unfortunately. Okay, Gorgon's just holding this guy down for us. Thank you very much. I'm just going to use bombs as much as I goddamn can here. Oh, as if that hit. What the hell are you? Um. Oh god, the bombs chase me now. Oh no. We got quite a lot of $3 bills out of that, which is something. I th I'm thinking we only get those $3 bills until our next hit, which isn't ideal. Which, yes, they're gone. Keep it moving. We got Super Magnet. I'm going to keep Super Magnet just for the wackiness. Why not? Why the hell not? I, the speed, I, I don't have enough speed to get out of the way of this guy. This guy's just going to wail on me until the room's over. Wait, the room is over? What's going on? Ah. <laughs> okay. It's like, here's the library dead. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was kind of insane. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.